Good morning, friends. Welcome to Baby Storytime. My name is Miss Robin, and Baby Storytime is designed for librarians like myself to share songs, rhymes, finger plays, and bounces with you, caregivers, for you to enjoy with your baby. These activities can create great bonding opportunities for you with your baby. And when you're bonding with your baby, it tends to put everyone in a good mood, right? And did you know that when you're in a good mood, in a happy place, your brain is actually in the best possible place for learning. So by bonding with your child, you are also putting your child's brain in the best possible place for them to learn with you. So how about if we get started? Oh, if your baby's asleep right now, it's fine. Let them stay asleep. You can participate with me and learn these activities to share with your child when they wake up. But if your baby is awake right now, you can follow along with me and my baby Cheetah. Yes, so baby Cheetah is going to sit on my lap for these songs because these songs can be used um, to play along with baby in a lap bounce manner. But if your child is not comfortable sitting this way, you can hold your baby however is comfortable for them. Um, and if you have a child who likes to move around, that's okay too. Because if you sing these songs with me and model to your child, they're apt to pick this up after a while and imitate you because you are one of their favorite humans. So let's begin with a hello song. I'm gonna start by clapping baby's hands like this. And actually for the fun of the sound effect, I'm gonna clap my own hands to give you the rhythm. And it goes like this. Hello, hello, let's clap together. Hello, hello, let's clap hello. Hello, hello, let's clap together. Let's clap together, let's clap hello. Clapping baby's hands. How about if we sway back and forth? So movement like swaying back and forth or bouncing or any kind of a repetitious movement like that helps your baby to form something called body awareness. So they start to become familiar with how their body works, what body parts they have, and how those, their body fits into the world around them. So we can sway back and forth and sing the same song. Hello, hello, let's sway together. Hello, hello, let's sway, hello. Hello, hello, let's sway together. Let's sway together, let's sway, hello. We could bounce, we could wave, or during mealtime, when your child is in the high chair, we could sing, let's eat together. Hmm. I challenge you caregivers to come up with a way to sing that song to your child today and make it part of your routine. Choose anything that you enjoy doing together with your child. All right, are we ready for another one? This is a very simple rhyme that I'm going to repeat and act out with you. I'll do it once with my arms and then show you how to do it with your baby. And then I'll show you how to sing it. All right, so it's very simple. We repeat this line three times. Arms apart, arms across. All right, baby. Arms apart, arms across. One more time. Arms apart, arms across. And great big hug. <laughs> that one's very easy, right? It's a very simple rhyme, and it's fun to do with your child. You could do this as a lap bounce or when you're changing a baby's diaper with their arms or their legs, you could go through this motion. But to make it even more fun, you can take that rhyme and sing it to the tune of London Bridge. If you're familiar with that nursery rhyme, I'm going to sing it now and see if the tune sounds familiar to you. Arms apart, arms across, arms apart, arms across, Arms apart, arms across, great big hug. Yay! Did that tune sound familiar? Yeah, when we sing rhymes, it tends to make it easier for us to remember. Studies show that we do remember things better when they are put to a tune. 
So give that one a try if that's something that resonates with your child or as a diaper, diaper rhyme with your legs apart and legs across. Because when you're changing your child's diaper, it's a great opportunity. It happens a lot of times during the day, right? And you can have that face contact and make it into a fun bonding activity to do with your child. All right, I have one more activity to teach you today. And this one was a favorite in my house with my children. And it starts out basically as a very simple song that you sing and act out with your child. It can sit on your lap. I'm gonna turn baby cheetah this way because a lot of what you do in this activity is kind of tracing on your child's back. Now, if your child doesn't wanna do it that way, that's fine. You can do it on their bellies or in the air until they get comfortable and wanna try coming closer. But if you can get your child to come to even sit next to you, this is how, how the activity goes. Ready? X marks the spot, make an X on their back, with a dot and a dot and a big question mark. Draw a question mark right on their back. Now the fun part. Crack an egg on your head. Let the yolk run down. Do it again. Crack an egg on your head. Let the yolk run down. A small pinch. Pinch, pinch, pinch. A big squeeze. Squeeze. A cool country breeze. This is their favorite part. Let's do it one more time and I'll, I'll just go through it all and you can follow along. Ready? Here we go. X marks the spot with a dot and a dot and a big question mark. Crack an egg on your head. Let the yolk run down. Crack an egg on your head. Let the yolk run down. A small pinch. A big squeeze. A cool country breeze. I hope you enjoyed some of those activities and have some ideas now, hopefully, of ways that you can incorporate those into your day with your baby and make for some fun, fun bonding time together today and maybe every day. Now, not only do activities like that create bonding and learning, but also books, right? And the library has lots and lots of books that we can share. And I happen to have some board books here that I'd like to recommend to you. My first one is Nita's First Signs, and it's written by Kathy McMillan. So this board book was a new discovery for me, and if you don't know already, sign language is something that children can do starting as early as six months of age, and they can communicate with you using their hands and signs much sooner than using their mouths, and so it reduces a lot of frustration if you and your child can work on those things together. So this book, Nita's First Signs, I would highly recommend because it has lots of active demonstrations as to how to do some of the baby signs. Another favorite book of mine that is a picture book as well as a board book is Dear Zoo, written by Rod Campbell. So this is just a fun story with lots of repetition and fun animal characters. So this one has lots and lots of different ways to enjoy it, which is why I recommend it. And lastly, I'd like to recommend Tickle Time, written by Sandra Boynton. And actually, any book that's written and illustrated by Sandra Boynton would be something that I would recommend. And we have lots and lots of these at the library. All right, now, if you were wondering how to get your hands on some of these board books, you can go to the library website, which is fcpl.org. And, and you can um, request some personalized picks. That's how you would get request board books for our curbside pickup. But the library is open now. So if you wanted to come in, you could come in and select your own board books. Or a third option would be to give us a call and we could help you to request some of these books and get them in your hands. So thank you very much for joining me today for Baby Storytime. I hope that you had fun and that you have a wonderful week and that you join us again here for Baby Storytime next Monday at 10 a.m. Have a great day. Bye, friends.